I am done with Marvel and the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Some of you probably won't like it, but f it. Here's why. Marvel Studios just dropped the once rising star after a jury in New York found him guilty of assaulting and harassing his ex girlfriend. He lost two of the charges and he was acquitted of the other two. Now they know he didn't intentionally assault her. We know that he didn't aggravatively harass her either. But they looked at that video and they decided that those pushes, there are guilty worthy. Assault in the third degree, basically recklessly causing some kind of injury, right? And then harassment in the second degree, guilty. This is something that prosecutors love to do. They love to stack these charges. So the jury has all these multiple options to find you guilty of something. And that's what they did. Like, hey, he must have did something. We got five charges and all that. Ah, that's pretty interesting. Uh Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. You don't find that suspicious. You don't find that suspicious. You don't find that suspicious. Behind the cape. I'm gonna start this because I'm I'm still really agitated from the whole Jonathan Majors verdict and everything like that. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll see what I kind of had to think about that whole situation. Uh, a few years ago, I decided to completely boycott financially, at least, the NFL. Uh, I started off with Colin Kaepernick and the whole situation with that and kind of how they were treating him, how they kind of got him out of the NFL and how they've kind of treated some of their black players. I just, once that one thing happened, I kind of looked into some other things, how they were treating black quarterbacks, uh, no guaranteed money, things like that. Like, I just started looking at the NFL for what it was. And, you know, there's no black ownership, just a whole bunch of things like that. And from there, I just kind of decided for me that boycotting the NFL was probably the best thing that I could do in terms of letting them know that I'm no longer supporting them Financially, I'm sure they don't give a shit, but I was I was really huge into the NFL up until that point. So I told my family and everything like that that I wasn't uh, going to support them. And my family still supports the NFL. They watch it all the time. But I could no longer support the NFL based off of how they were treating their players, more specifically their black players. I, I don't think I can support Marvel financially anymore. You know, I've just seen too many things between obviously the whole recast of Chala situation and obviously how they are now treating this whole Jonathan Major situation. I, I can no longer sit by and support them in that way. Now, obviously, I do a podcast here and we we talk Marvel quite a bit. So I don't believe that I will stop talking about Marvel and, you know, obviously with all the news and everything like that. I'll still be able to get all that out to you guys. And if I have to review certain material, then, you know, I'll, I'll try my best to not financially support uh, Disney or Marvel from now on, at least until they start to fix some of the things that they're, how they're handling certain things when it comes to their, you know, black actors, directors, black employees, essentially. I don't know about y'all, but I, I can't financially support Marvel. That's just me. I'm I'm done. Like I'm I'm just so sick of the way they handle things. With that being said, I do a podcast where we discuss Marvel things. So, uh, before I get into one of the major things that I want to talk about, major. Uh, before I get into one of the major things that I want to talk about in this behind the cape segment, I'm really interested to see how they deal with this whole uh, Vin Diesel situation. If you're not uh, hip. Vin Diesel has been accused of sexual battery by his former assistant. Now, I'm pretty sure Vin Diesel is not black. I know his mom is white, essentially, but his adopted dad is black. I believe he is not black. So it'll be really interesting to see how Marvel, who should be able to recast Groot, for fuck's sake, handles this situation. Let's take a look at what situation I'm talking about. 
Fast and Furious star Vin Diesel denies he forced himself on a former assistant years ago in a hotel room. She made the allegation in a lawsuit, a lawsuit that comes as an old interview with the actor has resurfaced. Jim Murray reports that interview is being called creepy and cringeworthy. All right, so basically he has forced himself on a former assistant of his uh, and she's bringing a lawsuit forward. First of all, a much bigger offense. And again, he is a much smaller character when it's all said and done in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So they should be able to distance themselves away from him just like they did Jonathan Majors. But difference here being that, for all intents and purposes, Vin Diesel is white and Jonathan Majors is black. So we'll kind of see where they go from there and see if they kind of handle that situation different than expected. But I don't expect them to do much. I'm just going to be honest with you. Now, I picked a perfect time to go ahead and distance myself from Marvel uh, because apparently they're working on a couple of sequels, not only working on them, but fast tracking filming for them. Uh, those films include Eternals 2, Thor 5, and Black Panther 3. Black Panther 3 without T'Challa. They're still continuing to go down this arc uh, without T'Challa and going down the arc with Shuri as Black Panther, which I don't know how true this is. I saw this. Shout out to uh, Theo. Theo tweeted this out. While Marvel Studios has refused to recast King T'Challa, the franchise is not stopping as the third installment has reportedly got a green light for development. So apparently Black Panther 3 is happening without T'Challa. So there will be no variant. There will be no uh, T'Challa in Black Panther 3, which is, fam, we got comments on the last Behind the Cape that said that, oh, Wakanda Forever was great. Be honest with yourself. Be serious. That movie lacked a central focus and therefore hogwash, garbage, terrible. Uh, and therefore, obviously because I'm financially boycotting Marvel, I probably won't be checking out Black Panther 3. Just throwing that out there. Uh, especially without T'Challa. Get the fuck out of here. What the hell is Black Panther 3 going to be without T'Challa? I'll wait. I'll wait. Just saying. In other news, Aquaman 2 is doing terrible domestically. In fact, has done worse than the Marvels somehow. But depending on who you ask about how it's performing, it's actually doing pretty well overseas. In fact, doing better than the Marvels overseas. From what I can tell, it's doing about 28 million on the three day opening uh, domestically, which is worse than 46 million for the Marvels, but is actually catching up to the Marvels. I think it's 107 versus 110 because of the overseas sales. So for whatever reason, Aquaman 2 is doing amazing overseas and doing so well that it might even lap. It might even lap the Marvels. So we'll see. I, I, I don't know what to make of that, to be honest with you. I guess they're, they're projecting 40 million total for the four day opening weekend uh, for Aquaman. But we'll see. I don't. I don't plan on seeing Aquaman either because from what I've seen, it has nothing to do with what's going to happen in the DC going forward with James Gunn. I'm going to be honest with you, fam. If I didn't care about the Marvels, I don't care about Aquaman either. That's just, that's just me. One serious thing that I actually kind of wanted to go over. I don't know if you guys have seen, but Taraji P. Henson had this interview where she discussed, where she discussed not being paid as well in Hollywood because she's a black woman. And I thought, yeah, I, I believe that. I believe that wholeheartedly. Uh, black women usually don't get as much as white men, white women, black men. So, yeah, no, I believe that wholeheartedly. And it seems uh, there's other people like Robin Thede, comedian Robin Thede, who, 
who came out and agreed with her, uh, where she says, watch this. Taraji is telling the absolute truth. 70 to 80 percent of gross income is gone off top for taxes and commissions, which is the same for everybody. Uh, and for those who pay other employees as well, the math ain't mathing. And I know you're like 10 million minus 8 million is still 2 million. But I'm sure they're not getting paid as well as, you know, white stars and black men. So I just thought what she had to say here was pretty interesting. And I heard on the street, Taraji, you had the audacity to say you're thinking about getting stopping acting. We said, stop talking. I'm just tired of working so hard being gracious at what I do, getting paid a fraction of the cost. I'm tired of hearing my sister say the same thing over and over. Um, you get tired. I hear people go, you work a lot. I well, have to. The math ain't mathing. I do believe that, you know, black women don't make as much as, like I said, their white counterparts. And then obviously uh, black women don't get paid as much as their female counterparts. And so, um, you know, We'll, we'll see what comes of that situation. You know, I hope the best for Taraji, Robin Thede, Kiki Palmer, all the people who agreed with her. Uh, get your bread. You know, I don't have any problem with any uh, black person demanding more, especially when in some cases they're doing some of the heavy work. So shout out to Taraji. Shout out to all the black women in Hollywood that do what they do. Make sure you all subscribe to the channel. I will be doing these live streams uh, every Sunday now until Marcus comes back. Marcus is coming back. He will be back. Look forward to it. If y'all got any questions, feel free to drop a comment. You know what I'm saying? I will be trying my best to respond to everything.